guys welcome back to my channel today I am testing out some products including the Huda Beauty Tantua bronzers you have yet to see this on my channel so this is the first time appearance for this and I'm also playing with some of my favorite goodies Let's get straight into this tutorial keep on watching don't forget to subscribe so I thought that I would use today in my tutorial pretty much the reason you guys visited the Clinique hydration bar the Clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator it is absolutely beautiful so I'm just going to use a bunch of their stuff today as well and let's just get straight to it um my Skin is feeling a little bit more drier just from all the travel I've been doing lately everything's been just a little bit crazy for me so I'm just gonna go in first and spray my face with the rejuice set and refresh by Beauty Blender the only thing I wish about this is that it was slightly strong not as strong as the cover effects one but just slightly stronger okay the next thing that I'm gonna do is go in with the famous Clinique moisture Surge, and I'm just going to hydrate my skin. It is a little bit more of like a gel like texture You can actually use this as a five-minute mask and then rinse it off um, or you can use it under makeup It just depends on how dry I guess your skin is mine is always slightly more drier a little bit more dehydrated I travel quite a lot um, So I do find that if I don't keep up a really good strict skincare routine It can fall back a little bit and because I have been a little bit lazy I haven't kept up with my usual masks and all that kind of stuff, which is the reason why it's feeling more dry than usual and we're just getting into winter as well and winter's just <sighs> okay the next thing that i'm going to do is go in with the clinique moisture surge eye cream this one here look at this bottle isn't it just incredible looks so cool this is also like a gel like formula and i'm just going to place that underneath my eye so this product is jam packed with caffeine to wake up the under eye and it also has almost like a cooling sensation when it goes on and I can just really feel it getting in and hydrating my skin. I'm going to take a little bit more of that product and I'm actually just going to apply it up here. The reason why I'm going to do that is because my skin is just feeling really crappy lately. Sometimes I forget that my brows are actually hair and I just want to sometimes go in and just make sure that they are well nourished. Okay, for my eyes today, I'm actually going to take the NARS Lost in Luster palette, which is this one right here. But before I do that, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and I'm just going in with my Quartz Beauty brush and just pressing, pressing the brush into my skin. And now to set over that, I'm just going to take this shade right here, which I believe is called As You Please, and just press press over that concealer just to make sure that it's well set this is also going to stop my eyeshadow from going a little bit grubby okay just onto my brows i'm just going to comb up my brows first i'm just going in with benefit cabrow number three i'm just going to use my 24 hour brow setter by benefit and just comb up for those brows okay let's go back in with my nars lost in luster palette and we're just going to pick up this shade right here start to create a more defined socket line with this one the next thing that i'm going to do is pick up the shade heat from the urban decay petite heat palette and i'm taking that on a 231 by zoeva and i'm going to press that ready shade onto the outsides of my eye so now I'm actually going in with As You Please. I thought it was As You Please before, but I went in with Days before. So I'm taking this little sparkly beige shade, and I'm actually going to pick that up on my concealer brush that I used before. So I'm actually just taking that up and around, and just really pressing it into my eye. It's time for eyeliner, so I'm just going to take my Benefit Roller Liner. Alright, so I've just kept my liner on the outsides of my eyes today. I've used the roller liner by Benefit, so I've just created a little bit more of a wing, as you guys can see, and then I haven't taken it too far in either. Before I stick my lashes on, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and just blinking into the wand. Now, when I did clean up my under eye before, I did feel like I removed a little bit of the moisture surge by Clinique, so I'm just going to go back in and reapply that. Um, you know, if we double up on some, because not all of it removed, it's not such a bad thing. <laughs> I think my favorite part about wearing this product is the fact that I get that really nice cooling sensation underneath my eyes. I've never actually felt that when I've worn a product before, so 
the fact that I do feel like that, especially with an eye cream that is not irritating my eyes, I definitely love that about that product. Because I did apply this product already, it was quite a thick formula, so I don't think I really need to go in and prime my skin. I feel like this one has been perfect as a primer, so I'm actually not going to prime my skin today. I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation. Now, you guys know that I actually like to use a primer, a foundation, a powder, really all from the same brand and from the same collection, because I do feel like they really complement one another, and they're actually made to complement one another. So in saying that, I'm going to go in and use the Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint hydrator this one has an spf of 25 so perfect if you work outdoors and in the shade universal medium which i think is going to be a little too dark for me at this point so i'm going to mix in the even better refresh foundation and i'm going to use the shade honey i'm going to take my trusty y7 and apply that now with a slightly smaller brush, I'm gonna do my forehead. I'm just taking a little bit more of that honey shade from the Even Better Refresh foundation. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is conceal my under eye. So I'm taking the L11 Neutral Locket Concealer by Kat Von D, which is a very heavy duty concealer and you kind of need to work very quickly with it. So I'm just going to press first with my foundation brush over it because I just want it Dipple it into the skin. Oh, I feel like that goes so nice with the foundation. You know, sometimes I find concealers just don't really match the foundation underneath. Like I used my La Prairie foundation with, I think it was the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. And I just found that they didn't go well together. This is going really, really well together. I'm loving this makeup look so far. The lashes, the pink, everything's just going really well. The next thing that I'm going to do is just press into my skin. This concealer and foundation look so good together, guys. I am so happy with them together. It is so nice and hydrating on my skin. This foundation, I don't feel like it's caking. I don't feel like it's overly dry. There is vitamin A and vitamin C in this foundation, so it does improve the elasticity of your skin and makes everything look a lot more plump and fresh, which is what I'm really loving. Especially this area here. I just feel like I look healthy. I'm just going to take the Avail Hourglass Translucent Powder. And with my little grubby sponge from my concealer, I'm going to press over that concealer. So the next thing that I'm going to do is contour my face. Now I'm going to take the brand new Huda Beauty Tan Tour Awesome Bronzers. As a brush, I'm just using my Quartz Beauty Shimmering Veil. So I'm taking the shade Light. I love this product, you guys. It is so super creamy. I'm going to take that product and contour my nose. Now I'm going to dust off that powder. I'm just going to take this shade that I actually placed through the socket line of my eye on a Nude by Nature fluffy brush. This shade is so gorgeous as a, as a highlight and a blush. It's given me the softest sheen. a really pretty color on my cheek. I'm just going to take free to fly with my fan brush by the weaver add to that glow that i've already got the clinique moisture surge has definitely given me that glow with my foundation so i actually don't feel like i need too much highlighter so my forehead just has the softest amount of glow without actually needing any other product just the foundation alone is just so super hydrating that it's given me a really nice kind of soft dewy texture to my skin now i'm just going to take exo beauty in the shade marie and line my lips for my lips i'm just taking the radiant flight by the weaver which is a soft pink gloss finish off my eyes i'm just going to go back in and pick up this shade here which is let go and just with a flat shader brush just gonna smudge that in to my under eye just to give it a little bit more balance so if we look now at this eye to this eye this one just looks a little bit more finished just gonna add a little perversion mascara underneath and just taking my beauty blender redo set and refresh Thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of the tutorial. I've always been a massive fan of Clinique. Growing up as a kid and using my mum's makeup, she had everything Clinique because my sister's godmother worked there for so long. So I've always loved the products and I've always had some of the things over the years in my kit. I have to say that my favorite product is definitely, definitely the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydrophilic Concentrate. I just think it's super, super hydrating and I love the fact that it gives me that really nice cooling sensation underneath the eyes I literally feel like it wakes up my eye I just wanted to touch base on this product again really quickly now it does say on the back of this you can use it under or over makeup or as a five-minute mask if you are someone like me who has 
more dry to dehydrated skin i would most definitely recommend to use it as a primer as well it really really nourishes the skin and it almost sets down that really nice clear smooth base because sometimes as dry skin sufferers i could call us um we do have a little bit more of a rough surface and then some parts are more dry than others so it sucks up the foundation and that's why you can feel really patchy after a few hours so i do feel like this product is really really good to stop that as you guys know the clinique products are always available in Mecca and they also have their own standalone in Maya and David Jones as well. I also want to talk about these Huda Beauty Tan Pua bronzers. Now I feel like they are just absolutely beautiful as a cream contour. I am not really a fan of cream contours but I feel like this one literally makes me feel like I have just used powder. Uh, the reason why I don't really like cream contours is because I find they just look cakey over time but I don't feel like this one does at all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Love you all.